Hey, coming up, we are at Sport Rock in Alexandria. We're taking a look at a sport that combines strength training and cardio. You can guess it, it's rock climbing. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. This morning we are at Sport Rock in Alexandria and we're talking about indoor rock climbing and this is the place to do it. We've got uh, Molly here. We talked to you last year. We, we appreciate did. you inviting us back well, this year. But rock climbing, what makes it such great exercise? Really, it's just it's great strength training because mm -hmm. you're pulling yourself up to the wall using your body weight. And it's also great cardio. You know, you can do laps climbing, get your heart rate really pumping. So it's great for strength and cardio. So it's just a full body workout. You use everything from your toes to the shoulders and even your neck. You do, and I love it. We're watching a John up there, and he's uh, going way up there. And the thing is, there's some problem solving that's taking place here. Correct, yeah. You actually have to think while you climb. So it's not just on a treadmill where you're kind of spacing out. You're really focusing on the, the holds that you're grabbing, and you're following one path up the wall. So on here, John up there is on the, the purple one, so he's following all the purple holes with his feet and hands, so he has to think about where he's going. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing a great job, and it's really fun to watch him. And I mean, as he goes up there, people at home might be wondering, he's probably 30 feet or more off the ground, and is it, is it safe? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're connected to a harness mm -hmm. and to a rope, you know, that can hold way more than just a person. Right, it, it can you hold know, more than our, more uh, you know, that. buck 50, if right. that's best case scenario. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, so yeah, it is safe, and the person on the ground is certified, so you can take classes to be certified, or you can go with one of the instructors who knows what they're doing, and we hold you up there, and it's, if you fall, you don't even need to warn people on the ground. It's just hanging in the air. It is hanging in. Okay, yeah. so uh, I'm going to go ahead and climb. You've okay. shown me a couple things, yeah. but if I get stuck, I mean, I want you to, like, direct me, because okay. she's the pro here. She's the <laughs> expert. So we'll start off, and these grips, I mean, they're not slippery at all. I mean, this is what they're made for, to be held onto. Correct, yes. Now, as you're going, make sure to push from your legs. Okay. So feel the weight in your feet and use just your toes. Use just your just toes? Just your toes, yep. And push from your legs. Oh, yes, man. nice. There you go. You now, really do feel it. And you almost, the higher up you get, you get a little shot of adrenaline. Is that normal? Oh, yeah, that's normal. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there's definitely the adrenaline. I mean, these walls are 60 feet tall, so you get a lot of climbing to go. Oh, it gets a little tricky. Is do I want to keep my knees close to the wall, or what? What should be my goal keep your there? Hips in a little bit, and make sure to not over grip the holds. So hold them lightly, so your for, your forearms kind of stay nice and relaxed while you're climbing. It usually is the first thing to go. Yeah, I yep. can already feel that in my forearms. <laughs> you're right. Yep. And just and kind then, of map it out where you're going. So sequencing the holds, looking where your next foothold is. Good. Yep. Yeah, you do have to think about it because it's easy to get in a position where you feel like you can't go any further. Exactly, yep. Just keep looking down at the feet and always put them higher. All right, well, and guys, I'll tell you what, if climbing this high isn't for you, there's something else. It's called bouldering. We're going to check that out right after this. Don't go away. Hey, you're absolutely right about that. You want to keep things interesting when you're working out and introducing indoor rock climbing or bouldering is a great way to do that. We're at Sport Rock in Alexandria. So we were doing, Molly, the, uh, the climbing. This is climbing, but you don't have the heights. Correct. This is called bouldering, what we're going to do. Bouldering. We okay. were doing top roping. This is called bouldering. Okay. Um, and so the way it works is the same as on the routes, is you follow one color of tape up the wall, and there's a rating written down here on it for you. Okay, what is this rating? A what V0. Is so this is one of the easier ones here. So the, the <laughs> higher the beginner? second number, the harder it is. So V5 is quite difficult. V0 is for okay. a beginner. It's um, for yeah, a novice, which is what I fall under. Not necessarily you, but uh, you've been doing this, I know, a very long time. Would you kind of show us like how to shimmy up this? Sure, yeah. So so this is the start hold. So okay. you start with your both hands on here, and then you kind of use the white for your feet, the white holds. And what I'm doing here is keeping my arms nice and straight, and as I reach for the next white hold, I move my feet, and try not to bend your arms too much so you don't waste all your energy like this holding on. Okay. So you keep your arms nice and straight and keep moving your feet up. I'll so you're up really up. just kind of hanging. Exactly, you're just hanging. You're kind of pivoting your body and using your core to stay in tight. Nice. And then making your way up. So I'm going to go ahead and jump down and oh man, so have you, you give it a try. <laughs> yeah, you make it look really easy. <laughs> so you want to start with the foot here, yep. and again, That's we good. just want to hang, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm use hanging. Your feet, push use your my toes. feet. Okay. Yep, kind of spot you here. There you go. Good. Oh, that's, that's hard. Up. Keep it up. Okay, hold it. Core. See? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a great core workout. Okay, so where do I want to go your from hands here? Together, yep. Okay. And then kind of switch your feet if you can. So okay. Up and switch feet. Yep. yep oh my gosh. Now, right arm goes up. Okay. 
Good, now go right arm again. Okay. Oh, right, right arm. arm. Hold up, my left arm. Hold up, my left arm. Hold up, my left arm. Jeez. <laughs> it's quite Woo. difficult there. But that is really difficult. Job. So yeah. you probably don't want to start with bouldering. Maybe start with top line. So bouldering is a little bit okay. difficult. It's very a lot of strength. So you could always go to the vertical walls or start with top roping. Whew. All right, guys. We've got some more vertical walls and top roping. Right after this, I'm actually out of breath. Nice job. <laughs> That's right, we're having a great time out here. We learned a little bit about bouldering. You can see right now, we've got a couple guys working out. Uh, also, one thing we wanna make sure that we mention, Molly, is this is a great activity for kids. It gets them to unplug, they kind of plug and, you know, great. they're dialed in yep. in this way, and it's Absolutely. a good thing. Yep, you know, kids get have rambunctious, have all this energy, and they get to come in here and climb and get their energy out, and at the same time, problem solve, thinking it's like puzzles, so they're using their brain while they're working out. And there's also on top roping with the ropes, they're belaying for each other. So mm -hmm. it's, it's trust, team building, that they have to really focus and they're putting each other's lives in their hands and they're this young, you know, it's, it's a great activity for kids. Well, I gotta think that this would be something that would really help build confidence and leadership abilities, plus they're socializing. This, what we haven't touched on is this is really a very social activity. It is very social, it's what makes it sticky, you know, you, mm -hmm. you get activities, you go on a tre treadmill to run, go to the gym, but with climbing, it's, it's a community. So, you, you know, you're really involved, you have a lot of friends, a lot of people climbing, and because it's so social, you really just want to keep doing it. It's fun, social, it's a great workout. Like, why would you not do it, you know? <laughs> right, and we got like, you know, this guy's gonna go uh, hopefully do a little bit more climbing himself, but that's what it's about. And this is also, um, when you say it's for everyone, it really is. We touched on the fact that kids can do this, but you guys have other people that maybe a little unexpected that come here. Correct, yeah, you know, we work with people who have, you know, we have kids who come in who have, you know, all sorts of different learning disabilities mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and we work with them. But we also work with people who have Parkinson's. You know, we have some people who are in their late 70s who come and climb with Parkinson's, and they're and they're good. They're really good, and it's a great activity, you know, for everyone of any age, really. So for somebody that's coming in, they think they want to give it a try for the first time. What do they need to do? You know, we have programs where our okay. staff will do the belaying for you mm -hmm. and can kind of get you on the walls, belaying what they're doing when they're holding the rope. Um, or you can take a class that teaches you that right away. It's a two-hour class, and they teach you how to do that. So you can come in with Super a friend fun. and get doing it on your own. All right, guys, stick with us because next up, we're going to race up the wall. Now, who do you think's going to win? Well, you'll put your money on this girl. But I guarantee you a good time. We're back with more after this. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. We're at Sport Rock and Alexandria. You guys have a big event coming up in March. Right, we have nationals in March. We're hosting nationals here. You know, we have official speed walls on our gym, which make it great for nationals and just awesome. giant 60 foot walls. All right, so we are, as promised, we're gonna race. Again, guys, keep in mind, she knows what she's doing. Uh, I'm just a novice. So, all right, any mark, set, go. Let's see who can get up here the highest, the quickest. Obviously, it's gonna be her. No, it's oh, close man. Right now, right? Oh, here we go. Shoot. Ah, this is where technique comes into play. <laughs> She's got technique. I'm just like a crazy monkey trying to get up this wall. Oh, you're doing great. Right, right next to me. All right. So, hey, Marquette, Kristen, 2019. This is the year. <laughs> Give it a go. Keep going, Andy. You got that this. You like got this. So oh. fun. You know, I went to an indoor Jeez. play gym in Virginia where they had that for okay. the kids. And I did it, and it was such a great workout uh -huh. on my, my back muscles. You go, girl.